Can you both introduce yourselves? Yes, I'm Joseph Ponder, the producer of the Cross of the Wonder Game with my brother Jamel Ponder. Johannes Christian, uh, one of the actors in the movie. So, Joe, tell us how you came about this movie. Well, I was in New York one day at my mother's house, and I was writing a short story to cross over that one again. My brother seen it. It's really about my brother and my family. And he wanted to help me write the book. We completed the book, turning about 300 something pages. And one day I decided I was going to produce a movie. And that's just what I did. We produced the movie. Only thing about trying is leaving yourself an option to fail. Play ball. So tell us a little bit about the movie. Well, the movie is basically a story that teaches young people about perseverance, overcoming fear, understanding that failure is not the end of the road, but an opportunity for growth. It's a family-oriented movie. And what role do Dr. Play. Dr. Christian plays a blind counselor. We also have Granville Waiters, the seven foot tall brother who double handed black Michael Jordan. We have Buster Douglas, the guy who knocked out Mike Tyson. We have Larry Jones, former NBA player slash Hall of Famer. And we have Clark Kellogg, former NBA player slash sports commentator. So, how did you get everyone involved in this? Well, first of all, I have no fear. So I go to First Church of God Bible study every Tuesday morning. And somebody told me who Clark Kellogg was, who Larry Jones was, and I approached both of them about being in the movie. Then Bishop Mel Griffith introduced me to Jimmy Hayes, who introduced me to Buster Douglas, and from there everything just started coming into focus. So what's the message in your movie? That failure is not the end of the road but an opportunity for growth. Man, you a bum. Yeah, you a bum. No shame, don't even worry about it. The only way to beat your opponent is to own them. And how's, uh, had any impact on any of your audience? Have you had feedback from your movie? Very good feedback. And one thing that a lot of people like about it is it's family oriented. And it shows that there are some fathers that are there for their children. One of the issues was the father wasn't there, but eventually he caught the message and he started trying to be in his child's life. And does uh, this um, movie, can you tell us a little bit about how this movie reflects your own personal life? Not so much my life, but my little brother's life. The main character is Shay, which is actually my little brother's little name. And he was the kid with the low self-esteem, the lack of confidence. Thank Dad coming to my game, Ma. You are never there for him! But I support him! Give him your money, he needs you! Who didn't have a father figure in his life, so it really portrays his real life. And let's talk about Doctor's character. Doc, you wanna tell him? Uh, well, I, first of all, um, I believe that this movie just has an opportunity for uh, families to see uh, how they can best live together and uh, make life a pleasant journey. My part is a small part, but uh, I'm called upon to help to reunite uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ponder uh, after a falling out and he's been thrown out of the house and trying to get them to focus on what it is that they needed to do to repair the relationship and get Mr. Ponder back into the house. So tell us a little bit about how, why you got involved in the movie. Uh, well, you know, I've known Joe uh, for a number of years now, and when he was first started the movie, I uh, had the opportunity to read the book. Uh, I've been a single parent and helped to raise my own children, and so I'm always looking for an opportunity uh, to uh, do things that will influence young people. And so uh, I saw it as an opportunity to do just that. So, um, do you have any inspirational messages that you want to tell people about the movie? I believe that um, 
the movie uh, portrays uh, the kind of values that I believe we should have in our, in our lives. Uh, I think it fosters family love. I think it fosters positive uh, thinking. Uh, it fosters self-esteem. And it makes room for the fact that uh, that life um, is greater than our, ourselves. And sometimes we're called upon to make really hard decisions. And I think that's the, uh, the ending of the movie just really brings that home. That sometimes you have to make real hard decisions and, and make it in a positive way. So tell me um, about the crossover, uh, different, per uh, some of the uh, actors, their characters, those kind of things. Right, we have some great actors from Columbus, Ohio. We have Chip Davis, who plays my father. We have Leslie, who plays my mother. Um, James Buster Douglas, he plays one of the main basketball coaches. We have Granville Wade as a seven foot tall brother who double handed black Michael Jordan in the NBA. He plays a high school coach and a college recruiter. You have Clark Kellogg, former NBA player. He plays a recruiter, a college recruiter. You have Larry Jones, who's a former NBA player, slash Hall of Famer. He plays a high school coach and an announcer. You have James Buster Douglas, the one who knocked out Iron Mike Tyson. He plays one of the main basketball coaches. You have Leslie Watts, who plays my mother in the movie. You have Chip Davis, who plays my father in the movie. You have DeWanda Reese, who's like a fill-in. You have Jessica Richardson, who plays a news reporter. Um, you have Angela Mitchell, who plays my secretary in the movie. And you have me, who plays like Kind of like a grind ball role in the movie, a shyster. Quite a few actors, I can't remember all of their names, but a lot. So, why did you pick these particular actors? Well, Granville, he's just so smooth. So when I met him, I'm like, wow, he will be a perfect person in the movie. Clark Kellogg, he's extremely smooth, like Granville. And when I approached Clark, he said, well, Joe, you know, let's just pray about it. Two years later, he got back and says, you know, Joe, I'm going to be in the movie. Buster Douglas is very laid back, and I knew he'd play a perfect role. Dr. Christian is real smooth, so, and he has character. So, most of these people I picked because I knew they had character, and I felt like they would bring out the best in the movie. So, how long did it take from the concept of your movie to the end product? It probably took about a year, about a year. What are some of the challenges you kind of across oh putting that movie together? Um, a lot of the time, the actors were so busy with the other shoes and so forth, they couldn't show up, which would like throw the whole set off. Um, and finances, we had a big problem um, coming up with the money. But by the grace of God, we was able to do it. And with the help of people like Dr. Christian, Mr. Butch Peel out of Wilmington, that really helped out a lot. And then I can't forget my brother, Jamel Ponder, who is also part of this movie, who produced it with me. He contributed a lot of money also. Okay, Doctor, can you tell me what made you get involved? Like, and some of the things that you've seen challenges for Joe? Well, I think I got involved because um, I had met Joe through another friend uh, because of his short stories. And I do a lot of public speaking and like to give other people an opportunity. So uh, we uh, began to work on a project that I was doing in Lima, Ohio. And uh, he kept sharing about the movie and sharing about the movie. My intent was just to be somebody behind the scene. And so, uh, you know, I, I began to to give him, you know, some little small amounts of money uh, as he would ask and or, or talk about what he needed, never dreamt that he'd be any more than that. And uh, the more I got involved with giving, I kept hearing more about the movie, 
And uh, again, I just believe in uplifting family and uh, anything that we can do to give a positive spin on our young folk and give them something to, uh, to look up to. And uh, the more I saw the movie and the more involved I got, um, uh, it was just a given. And, uh, you know, um, he, Joe was really a compassionate person. And uh, I just felt like if he just could get over the, the hump, so, you know, you just do what you're going to do. And then, of course, I met Butch, and there's no way in the world I could match what uh, Mr. Peel was doing, you know, but uh, just wanted to be there for, for Joe. I have um, had a lot of people help me to get where I am in life and have had some great platforms to, to speak on nationally and internationally. But I'll, I'll never forget that I never did any of that by myself. It's always been because people have seen something in me to push me to where I've gone. And I just want to be that kind of person to help push others in. At the moment, it happens to be Joe. He he'd probably tell you that sometimes my pushing comes with a, a heavy <laughs> price because I, I really push hard. He does. So is that uh, making you more creative by having someone like him pushing you? It does. It does. Considering him like a mentor? He's definitely a mentor. Yes, he is. And why that's important to you? Well, because a lot of times there's things I don't know that he teaches me. And I'm not one to get discouraged much, but I do have my moments and Doc is the one that will kind of like push me a little further as well as Mr. Peel. So that extra push really helps me sometimes. So I'm gonna um, go circle back to your movie and let's touch on some of the, uh, you said you're working on another movie. Let's right. talk about that. Okay, so we're gonna be filming part two because when you see this movie, you'll notice that we left a nice cliffhanger. Okay. So you know it is movie number two. So we're gonna do part two here. We might do a part three. Um, and my desire is to shoot a movie of Dr. John J. Christian. You know, his life story, and then me and Buster Douglas been talking. So there's a movie that I created in my mind with Buster that I want to shoot. And then I write a lot of short stories. So my short stories, I pretty much want to turn them into TV series. Like back in the days, we had the after school special. So I write these short stories.